Hey everyone, this time I'm going to be doing a how to play video on Edelus. He's a really fun character, he's a heavy, he has great movement, we're going to be getting into stuff later about all of his strengths and weaknesses, uh, but I think a lot of beginners are attracted to him because of how hard he hits. Um, I think a lot of beginners are attracted to, to people that are more simple, and I think he's simple, but I think a step above someone like Crag, where it's so intuitive. Uh, you, you have to learn a few basic things, or maybe just one real basic thing to, to start learning Edelus and get good with him. Uh, but once you get that down, I think he's really he's intuitive on like how to learn him on your own, just playing matches over and over again. So as usual, I'm going to be going over a few topics. First is going to be strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to talk about how to use all of his tools. Uh, I'll be talking about how to play neutral with him. Some basic combos, some recovery mix-ups, and lastly, kill confirms. And so with that said, I'm going to jump right into the strengths and weaknesses. So, first of all, he has a great grounded neutral. Um, I think I've said that about a lot of the recent characters I've done. But this whole movement option of his, of being able to jump cancel his dash attack, makes his neutral so intimidating. One of the best ground neutrals in the game. Uh, and it also means he has great tech chasing. Uh, it's, a, it's a key component of all of his movement tools. Um, it helps for his combos, his stage carry. And then the other strength is that he's probably the best edge guarder in the game because of these things right here. Um, really, his entire kit is, or a lot of his kit is geared towards towards edge guarding your opponent. Uh, we'll get over that, get into that later. But but edge guarding is a very big strong suit. Most of the time, if you get someone off stage, uh, you want to get a kill. Um, his weaknesses are recovery on his recovery of his own. He doesn't have too many mix-ups, um, especially compared to the rest of the cast. And since he's a heavy, and he's a big body, he's kind of combo food. Definitely more comboable than Absa, for example. And then, lastly, I have for his weakness is that he can be platform camped. Uh, I think that's like the biggest play, the the best way to play against Edelus because of how strong his grounded game is. Uh, and so, being being platform camped is like one of his one of his biggest weaknesses. So with that being said, let's move on to how to use all of his tools. So first off, his jab. It's it's a huge hitbox. It's it's disjointed, and it pushes him forward. So we can look at these uh, for each attack, frame by frame. His first jab is like decently disjointed, it's whatever. But it's it's the the second jab where you, you really start to notice the disjoint. And and the third jab, it may not be disjointed on its own a lot, like in front. It is very disjointed above. It will hit platforms like you see on Merchant Port here. But it's not hugely disjointed in front of him, um, like his second jab, but but it pushes him forward by so much that it just covers a lot of distance in that regard. And it's very, very good. His dash attack, as I was saying earlier, it's the, the first thing you have to master with Edelus, honestly. Um, everyone should master movement of whoever they're playing as, uh, regardless. That's just something you need to learn for rivals. But his dash attack allows for mix-ups and neutral. It, it, it's everything to him. I can talk about more. I'll talk about that more whenever we get to neutral. But it's it's the start of a lot of his combos, and and it's how he start and it's how he like baits his opponent to to, to mess up as well. Up tilt. If we can look at that, great anti air. Um, <laughs> if you want to actually kind of compare it to jab three, it's a very similar hitbox or. The size is very similar, um, except up tilt is is him dragging the opponent up, and it has great kill or hit confirms or like combos. Often at low percent, you can combo one into the other, and it has so much hits done. Like the amount of time they're in hits done is so long that you can usually get a, a guaranteed confirm off of it as well. Forward tilt lays his ice down, which is like his his gimmick is that he's able to to lay ice on the ground. It doesn't affect the opponent at all. But his, it affects his friction a lot, so he can do this with his dash attack. He can slide across the entire stage, basically, and then he can jump cancel the attack. Uh, and just to be clear, you're just going to be pressing the jump button after dash attack to, to do it. And what I was doing with my movement with my movement earlier was I was wave dashing back. Um, so forward tilt is great for laying down ice, um, and it, it's got a great disjoint as well. The only thing is that it's pretty laggy, so it can be punished um, and even parried on reaction pretty pretty easily. Um, next, down tilt. 
has great hit confirms and it'll help for kill confirms as well at later percents. But just just know it to I, I mean how fast does this move? Oh wait, let's let me start that over. Frame six, it's a pretty good down tilt. It's pretty quick. Two hitter. Uh it has inherent mix-ups because you don't have to do the second hit, right? Um so down tilt's really strong, great for for like setting up strings. And now his aerials, Nair, well, Nair is really big. Uh, it used to be bigger, I'm pretty sure, but this is how it is right now. And it's still a great hitbox to, to, to hit for someone coming up on stage specifically. Um, you could imagine if you time your Nair right, if someone's trying to make it onto the ledge, your, your Nair hitbox is likely going to beat them. Um, but it's, Nair is your go-to move to do out of dash attack once it lands, or even if it doesn't land, if you want to like approach with your Nair, that's another great option. It's so long lasting, it'll likely hit if they're not ready for it. Um, it's something your opponent really has to respect. Back air is a great, like it's, it's, it's just a solid move. Just because it hits behind you like you'd expect, it's intuitive in that sense. It does what, it want, what you want it to. It hits them backwards and if they DI in, which they often will near the ledge like here in this position, you can almost always, let's see, let me see if I can do it to the APSA. You can, depend, well, I'll just set them to DI in. You can, you can combo back air into back air. Pretty, pretty reliably. I could have even gone for more. Like if you back air, back air, wave dash, maybe wave dash a couple times like I did there, into a back air again, you, you'll, you'll really want to extend as much as you can when you land that move. And forward air. Now this is such an interesting move. I'm gonna take the hitboxes off for a second. Because I don't think it shows anything special. Oh it does! That's a pretty cool anime that's a pretty cool uh colorization they have there. So his fair is really, really special. The first half of it, you, it's a hold move, for, by the way. Um for the first half of it, however many frames it is, starting from this, I think frame three, um you're gonna have armor. Now it's not super armor, it's not gonna last the entire, like it's not gonna uh, negate all, all hits, but it's knockback based, it's not percent based, which means, for example, if a APSA fared my, if she was trying to sweet spot fare me, and I was at zero percent, and I had my armor up with, full, with my forward air, it might, I don't know for sure, and I don't have someone to play with uh, to test it, but let's just say that it would not knock me out of my forward air armor, just for as an example. But if I was at 50% like I am now and she did the same move again, it might knock me out of my armor at that point. Uh, which means it has a lot of like, you know, variability to the results of, of, of a move hitting you, what's gonna happen? You either armor through it, let's see what happens if I can just set them to attack, if I set the apps to attack. I'll only give it a couple of tries if it doesn't work out. Yeah, oh, hold on, wait. That was a somewhat good example. I'm I'm armoring through uh, her up strong at the beginning, but not the last hit since it has a lot more knockback as you'd imagine. Okay, finally. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take, I'm glad I got a move out of like 20 seconds of use. As you see there, you can armor through an attack uh, and her down tilt's very weak. I would probably armor through it at like higher percents as well. Um, the, the, now the beauty of the move is that once you armor through an attack, you can decide to release the forward air and, and have a hitbox come out as well. So after, so once you let go of, of right stick, of, I mean, of the button, like for example, when I forward air, I usually use the, my, my, my stick, the right stick. So I hold it. And I don't have to release it to get the hitbox. But if I want to, I just release. And the same thing is if you're using the button. You just hold the button or you release it if you want to let go of the hitbox. So you can often armor through moves and then release the attack to knock them back. And like, it's a complete reversal. Especially, you can imagine, when you're, when you're recovering. Like in that exact situation. Um, you can you can armor through their attack to try and edge guard you and and hit them as well 
Um, so there's a lot of nuance to that fair. It's something you're gonna have to really explore, but th that's the basics of it. Is that you can armor through moves, it's knockback dependent, and uh, it has a really good uh, uh, hitbox that you can usually lead into itself if a certain percent on, on the IN. Now his up air is gonna be your go-to move once you land that nair. I landed nair, and then I threw out my up air. So my up air, you would you might call it a command grab, but it's just a hitbox. So, um, it's it's right above him, right there, right where you saw it. Reaches it 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 looks pretty small, but it's actually a really good size, and it, it catches people more often than you would think. Um, and it just throws them forward. And they're, it, it, with the angle that they go at is really dependent on their DI, but but it's great for securing kills. And it's usually your go-to out of Nair, like most of the time. And so now let's go through his specials. His neutral B is a hammer attack. Very, very slow. Of course, very powerful though. Something like Falcon Punch, if you're familiar with Smash. If you were to do the move on top of your ice, which you can create with forward tilt, and you can create with side B, we haven't gone over that move yet, but you can create in those ways, you you become armored. So let me show you. This is me unarmored. This is me armored. And it takes, I believe, ah, uh, I really shouldn't know. I think it's either 30 or 40%. This thing we can actually find out pretty quickly. So we were at 51, where it's, Oh, well, that was kind of misleading. <laughs> Since I pressed start, I reset my... I reset my percent. So I'm going to refresh my armor, which negates all the damage I've been dealt, if even if I already have armor on. And it resets the, the percentage that it takes to, to break my armor. So it's at 51. Okay, and I lost it at 91. So it takes 40%, I believe, in order to lose armor. That's if your opponent is hitting you. The other way you can lose armor is uh, just by doing one of your strong attacks, like that, or your up V. Using both of those will, will remove your armor. If you use your strong attack, you have armor once you release. Once you're in the startup frames and you're past the charging frames of your attack, you will have, I believe, or you will have super armor. Um, and for your up B, you will, you will also have super armor as you rise up. And at the peak of your up B, you will lose the, the, the armor. Um, so yeah, it's great for super arming through moves at certain points. Some people even up B like this because they have super armor, they can't be knocked back. And then they'll air dodge out. But we can talk about that later. I mean, that's more of an advanced technique now. I probably won't go into too much detail about it in this video. And so that's everything about his, oh, one other thing I want to say about his neutral B is that it stalls him in the air. So that's my fall speed, right? This is a full up B and that's how long it takes me to land if I'm not holding anything. If I use a neutral special, it's pretty significantly delayed because I'm stalling in the air. And so you can, you can use that as a recovery mix up later on down the line as well. Now his down B, um, it looks like this. Very similar to a Bowser bomb. You might notice a wave, a shock wave that emerges from where I, like where I hit on the ground or even a platform. It's because, let's see if I can push the apps back. That shock wave is, it triggers the ice on the ground. And if an opponent is on the ice that gets triggered by the shock wave, they get frozen like you just saw there. Um, and so the freeze mechanic that is only caused by your down B, um, well, for one, it can also be caused if they're right next to you when you land. So Absa won't get hit by the, the strong hitbox in my down B here. She will instead get frozen because she's right next to me. Um, this freeze mechanic is very, very, uh, unique to, to Edelis. The, the only thing the opponent can do is tech in place or tech roll in or out. That's all they can choose, choose to do as their options. So there's a lot of ways that you can cover multiple options 
but we'll talk about that in probably the basic combos or, or, or how to play neutral section of the video. That's how his down B works. One other feature of it is that you can wall jump off of your down B animation if you're close enough to the wall. Just like that. So if you're too far out like this, you're not going to be able to jump. But if you're right here, oh, that was a little close, you will be able to, to wall jump. And so if you're able to get really high up, down B is a really reliable way to uh, get down at least to the wall if you want to. Next is his side special. Um, it is going to be your go-to anytime you see someone off stage. You can combo like off of them getting hit by the side B. You can just force them to recover in a bad position just because you, you use the move in general. You will like in this and 99% of the cases, 99% of the time. Um, the second you hit someone off stage and the side B is no longer parryable because you need to be on the ground to parry the move. You will want to you will want to throw out your side B. I mean, even in that case when I did it too early, it was still good because it forced the opponent to try and avoid it or or, or take the hit. This is something you're gonna need to experiment more with like on your own, but I'll also touch up on a little bit more again in kill confirms. And then this last move that we're gonna talk about uh, is up special. And so on the ground, it lays down ice. You can always air dodge out of it. You can air dodge out of the startup or out of like the activation frames, whatever you want to call them, the active frames. Um, at any point, you can, you can air dodge at any point. Um, and it has a hitbox underneath him. It's, it, it can be useful for edge guarding, but not something to really rely on or focus on early on when you're learning the character. Um, also a fun fact is that your, your up B, which you can usually only do one time in the air, just like everyone's up B, and then after wall jumping you can up B again. That's just like a rival specific thing. Or a rival's general thing, I should say. But... Edelis' up special gets reset if you land an up air. So if I was to up special... Oh, let me face the other way. If I was to up special... Maybe... There we go. And then up air, like I did there, and then I, I could up special again. I'll do it again, just because I didn't really explain it. So I'm going to up special, up air, up special. Just like that. So you get a reset. Kind of a little cheeky thing, not insanely useful, but useful at times. Useful at times. So that's all, how to use all of his moves. Uh, that was a longer explanation than I thought, and I and I thought I was going to need to make, but I think that was a thorough, a thorough briefing. So next, let's talk about how to play neutral. Um, the first thing you want to do is just lay down ice. Um, if 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 you just won a stock, like let's say you just you just took a stock. I like to use side special once and then F tilt the ground um, as much as I can until they come back. But most of the time if the, like, it's a new game, you guys just started over, or like the game is just starting, uh, you'll often want to put ice in front of you, maybe even right behind you. So if we're in these positions, I might wave dash forward F tilt. Because you have a hitbox going out, so it's, it, it's also smart and beneficial to you to, to get that hitbox out and lay ice. It's, just, it's, it's a really easy way to control space with Edelus, which is really important. Um, and so once you have light, ice laid down, however you want to do it, um, your, the number one thing you need to learn with Edelus is just mastering his dash attack cancel mix-ups. So with your, after you've laid down some ice like this, you can just dash attack across to hit them. Let's let's push the apsa somewhere. Okay, you can dash attack across. You can stop your dash attack, jump it, and then nair. And these two timings are completely different. This is the important part. It's all about timing mix-ups. If I ran in with a dash attack like this and hit the apsa, that's a different timing than if I went here and then I full hop. Uh, well, actually, I usually short hop and then I I dash attack in and then short hop nair. That's a completely different timing, and that's important because the main defensive mechanic in Rivals is parrying, which is, you know, timing specific. So anything you can do to mix that timing up is very important. And and then you can also, if you, once you've mastered wave dashing out of your dash attack, 
jump, air dodge back. Once you've mastered this, you can apply so much pressure that your opponent, <laughs> like the app says now, will will feel forced most of the time to, to play on the platform. Because look at how much space you control as a heavy character with strong hitboxes and that can combo. It's 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 hard not to want to like be defensive against him. Um so, so that's what you're gonna wanna do to master neutral is figure out all the different ways you can approach your opponent. You want the point of da wave dashing back is to see what your opponent would have done if you did go in fully. If you if you fake it by going right next to them, you get to see how they reacted, and you can now have a better intel on what they might do next time. Um, something else to keep in mind is that if you think your opponent's gonna be aggressive but you can't beat their hitbox easily, just fair armor through it like this. Um, because once you land, as long as you don't release the hitbox, you don't have that much end lag. And so you could go for a dash attack right away. Um, or you could release the you can release the armor and, and, and armor through their attack and hit them as well. And so that's that's mainly how you want to play neutral. Once you do get a hit, let me get the app set. Once you do get the hit, um, you're likely going to be tech chasing them if you did not combo into Nair like this. Most of the time you want to combo into Nair, but let's say you just got a dash attack and they're in a tech situation. The best or like the a, a reliable way to tech chase is to cover their landing position with a forward air and then cover their and then react to which way they tech with a dash attack. So I'll see if I can give a little example real quick. Let me reverse back air over there. The positioning. Oh. I should have APSA, first of all, be a low percent. And then DI down and out. Or let's just say out. Let's just say out. Okay, here we go. That's exactly what I wanted to show. I didn't realize that she would tech so soon. That's perfect. So I'm going to dash attack in. And usually, uh, the point is what, what I'm showing is, part of neutral is like, winning it, and once you win it, if they tech, cover their tech option with fair. I did it like three or four times there. Cover their tech option with fair. And react with, with uh, if you miss, like if they hit their tech, then react. And, and, and go for a dash attack. And that's all like true, like that. those are true tech chases. Um, so I think those are the main things to keep in mind with neutral. It's really simple. Um, but you, you'll find ways to customize it on your own and you'll find ways to like read your opponent and go for more like platform based neutral if you want to. He's really great in the, on the, on the ground, but that doesn't mean he has to be there. I'm just telling you that I think like the most basic and fundamental way he does play neutral and what you should learn. And so with that being said, um, I'm going to talk about basic combos and this is going to be pretty short because it, it's something you're... Well, first of all, there is customizability and like creativity to the way he combos, um, but it's something you're gonna have to learn on your own. The most important things to know are that, let's see, go over there. Most important thing to know is that you're gonna approach with dash attack. That means you're likely gonna win neutral with dash attack, which means you should know how to follow up with it. Most of the time you're gonna be able to nair them. I'm just gonna put normal DI here. Um, learn hit falling, master hit falling. If you know how to dash attack, hit fall your nair, just look at the possibilities. Look how much time and and like space I have after I just stop moving completely. Let alone if, if I continue to try and follow with them. So you can imagine like you can combo all of your aerials from dash attack, except up air really. But up air is so reliable off of a nair like that, and it kills, is that you don't have to you don't have to combo into it for percent. You can combo it with with forward air, or I mean nair into forward air. Oh, I, I ran out of space. Nair into forward air. You can do nair into up air like we've talked about. There's you you're even able to do like kind of advanced. I wouldn't say this is too advanced, but I'll just show you real quick. You you can see like I jump in the air, right? I'm facing left, 
and I jump. That means I'm still facing left. Well, if you input the opposite direction of your facing right before jumping, you'll turn around before you jump. Like this. And so you can actually get a back air like that. You can dash attack them, turn around, jump, back air. Um, you don't even have to do that though, because most of the time... Uh, let's get DI in. Most of the time you can get a reverse hit, you can get, or you can cross them up and get a back air, like I did there. Or you can get a reverse hit of your back air. Oops, I messed up there. Like that. So, Adelis's back air has a really good reverse hitbox. It hits really, like, at his chest level, and it's easy to position it and to hit them forward still, even though it's your back air. So you go dash attack, you can combo that into nair, into up air, nair into nair a lot if they keep DIing in, or if you have a lot of momentum, even if they're DIing out, it doesn't matter. You can at least get one in. And then you can combo that into fair, combo that into up air. Your opponent's going to be scared to go off stage because if you've mastered air edge guarding with Edelus, they never want to go off stage. And so you'll find that you can combo a lot of your moves together. Uh, just just because of that And so there's also the fact that I mean, I mean there's also the other cases like you don't always win neutral with dash attack Maybe you win it with wave dash in jab up tilt Well, if you see there most of the time Well, it's gonna be random DI on the CPU, but even if they DI out You can get follow-ups if you have your ice and you're ready for it Just like that um, up tilt, dash it, and I dash attack to get over there. That's your main movement movement tool. If you want to move anywhere, just dash attack, uh, and then jump cancel it for wave dash movement. Uh, you can down tilt. Usually converts, or it can convert into up strong like that. Oh, I I, min I missed something completely uh, that I should talk about. One of well, I guess it's more of a kill confirm. But I'll just mention briefly, real real quick, is that you can dacus, which is dash attack cancel up strong with uh, Edelus. And so this is just me dash attacking and then me inputting up strong during the dash attack animation. And so you can really threaten this really big hitbox later on. But it's more useful for kill confirms, so I'll talk about it more later then. Um, and so you have a lot of creativity with comboing people with your, like, your down tilt, especially because you have one hit of down tilt like that. I just hit them with down tilt one and then I ran off and nared, you're going to have to explore those options on your own. The last thing I'm going to mention about combos um, is kind of like, I, or well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's optimal for sure. So we were talking about freeze punch, freezing earlier, so you might have been wondering what the optimal, if there's an optimal freeze punish, and there is. Uh, it's called the Edelus is the best combo. It, it does 40%, including the down special damage. So let me go ahead and, and it works at any percent on everyone except Maple, Ori. I think that's it. I think it just doesn't work on Maple and Ori. Um, on those characters, you, you can do other combos that are like, that get you 34%. The reason the 40% combo is so great is one. Oh, I messed it up there. Uh, is one, it does 40% true damage um, if you land it, which is insane. I can't be DI'd, SDI'd anything. Uh, why else is it good? It's great because we were talking earlier about how they have three options, right? They have three options. They can, oh, I don't know why I laid the ice down, because your down B takes your ice away. They can either tech in place like the apps did there, or they can tech roll in or out. Let's see if the apps did tech rolls out. Okay, they tech rolled in. And so, the great thing about the 40% is that you get 40% and you can act with a dash attack right out of it. And potentially cover tech in place and tech away. So let's see if we can get that to happen here. And we got it, just like that. <laughs> so, I got 40%. The APSA decided to tech in place because it's a guess. I guessed right, I got the dash attack, I converted it I converted it into a fair, and of course, I mean, the CP was at 110% and DI'd out or whatever, and so died, but it just shows that you can, 40% is the bare minimum damage you can get with the, with the combo. Um, it's, it's, it's very 
important, I think, to, to at least know about at any level. So that's why I'm explaining it in the video. But I think it's worthwhile to learn because it's not that difficult to get consistently. Um, it takes a little bit of practice. You'll get familiar with it. Just to be clear, it's you down special someone, you dash attack through them, you land back air, hit fall, back air, hit fall. Um, so I'll, I'll, let me just show it. Dash attack, back air, back air, nair. I missed the nair. Uh, but it's back air, back air, nair. Ooh, I missed it twice. Now I'm over here saying it's not that hard. Let me see if I don't say it out loud. No, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Dash attack, back air, back air, nair, 40%. If you practice it, you'll get it consistently. Uh, it's not that hard. Um, and it's worthwhile. So that's the last combo I'll talk about mentioning. It's just the optimal freeze punish. Uh, so next I'm going to talk about mix-ups, or recovery mix-ups. And we mentioned I mentioned earlier that, you know, his recovery is one of his weaknesses. And it's because he doesn't have a whole lot of mix-ups, honestly. He can charge his up B for this long. He'll get sent higher for as long as he charges it. His main mix-up is that he can air dodge at any point. He can air dodge here. He can air dodge here. Or anywhere in between. Um, something to note is that Edilus' up special, once launched and in the air while he's rising to his peak, cannot be hit by a projectile. That's important to know. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I forgot. Cannot be hit by a projectile rising unless you air dodge or act out. Um, but outside of that, let's see. Some recovery mix-up I have in mind. Personally, I always turn around my up special. Um, if, if I'm facing left, I, I the only option that I have is to forward air or to nair on the stage, right? But the forward air one isn't even unique. If I were to turn around, fun fact about the forward air, this, I'm completely armored all the way around my entire body. It's not just my forward air. Like, like, it's not just the shield I create. If you look at my body, my entire body is armored. So I can approach the stage like this and be completely armored. The And so that's why facing the stage isn't really that great because you can still forward air while facing the out, uh, while facing away from the stage. But it's also important because it threatens, you, you threaten an up air as you're recovering. Let's say you're low and your opponent wants to spike you. If they do and they're not right and they don't time it correctly, like perfectly, or you you mess around with the timing just a little bit and you throw out an up air, they're gonna go straight flying towards the blast zone and probably die. So that's why one of the recovery mix-ups I wanna talk about is turning around your up B. You can do it at any point. Just make sure you just up in the, in the outside direction that you're trying to face when you up B and you'll face the opposite direction. Air dodging out, I've already talked about. You can down B from really high up if you if you do this. So, let me, the scenario is something like this. You up B really high. Oof, I never do it, so I'm bad at it. But, you know, be really high, down B, wall jump, and then you have, you're at the wall already. Um, other than that, if you're up being right next to the wall, since you can air dodge at any point, you can kind of get like a, a cheeky little le quote unquote ledge dash, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, just a, a quick wave land onto the, the stage. Your opponent might not be ready for it, since so like you can act immediately after, right? Um, outside of that, you're just going to have to find your way back on with double jump back air. Um, in general, like wall jump ledge dashing. And, and maybe throwing out some side beasts, but... Be careful not to throw out too many side Bs because they can get parried very, very easily. And so, lastly, that brings me to kill confirms. Um, the thing is, Edilus is a heavy, so a lot of his moves will just kill and like you often won't struggle to kill with Edilus. His forward air kills, his nair almost always converts into up air, like even at crazy high percents. If they DI in, which they will eventually, right? Oop, not the weak hit of Nair. Well, see, that's why you need to DI in. <laughs> Don't DI out Nair, so you'll die at high percents. But Nair will combo an up air at crazy high, like all percentages basically. 
Um, so Nair and up air is a kill confirm. Uh, you can land. Oh, this is so I'm glad we're we're, we're going against a floaty right now. <clears throat> One pretty cool kill confirm, which probably isn't true. Well, maybe it has some percents where it's true. Uh, we were talk. I was talking about down tilt hit one. You can combo down tilt hit one into Dacus uh, on floaties pretty well. It might even work right here. Let me just do normal DI. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're gonna tech in. Um, the CPU is always gonna tech because they're they're that good. <laughs> but in a real situation, your opponent's not gonna be ready to tech a, a frame six down tilt likely. So let's, I'm gonna turn teching off. I'm gonna show you what happens if I do. Oh, let me start up. I'm gonna show you what happens if I down tilt one into Dacus. It should convert pretty easily, and so that's a pretty reliable kill confirm, honestly. Um, Dacus in general, I hate to say it, Dacus in general is just a good kill move. You can often get it out of dash attack. Um, just raw without the down tilt. It covers a lot of options. You slide across the stage clearly even without ice um, But with ice you go even further if you want to charge it So just keep Dacus in mind as like a fishing tool. It's like your best fishing tool by far for Edelus If you need a kill um, The other conversion into Dacus which is which really is true um, given that there's no platforms to DI to is up tilt to up strong. I mentioned that up tilt has a lot of hits done. And so if if you just react to where your opponent goes from your up tilt, you can almost always convert it into a Dacus. Or, or at least just an up strong if they don't DI it well like that. Let's see what happens if I get DI out. So that was hard DI out. The Absa could not reach any platform at this percent. And so I just immediately Dacus because I read which or I reacted to which way she's going. Now, now she drifted out there, so she did get away. Uh, let's see if I can position it, position her so that she can't actually make it to the platform in time. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I would need some ice. Let's try it again. What was some ice? Wait, I need ice here. Mm, she'll make it back on. Okay. So up tilt and the deck is perfect. Like that's a great example of it working even on DI out. It just depends on where there's platforms, where they DI to. You're just gonna have to react. But that's a great kill confirm for Edless. Um, and then lastly, it's just edge guarding. Honestly, um, know how to hit confirm off of your icicles. We talked. I talked about this earlier. You're gonna want to throw icicles out. Know how to position yourself so that once you Jump off with your icicles, you are able to up air them or forward air them after they after they get hit. So let me forward air to Absa. I'm gonna throw my icicles. I react to a double jump. That's a free kill if a player does that, which is a very real option that they do that. Um let's see if I can get her a little go a little further out. Oof, she just dies at that percent for some reason. Okay. Absa. How about you 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 DI to live? How about that? Please. Alright. Well she just can't live at this percent apparently. <laughs> she just can't live. Okay. So that was actually perfect DI out from the Absa that I couldn't convert, but realized that she went further off stage. So she was in just as bad as a spot. And that's the beauty of side B, is that if it doesn't directly connect into a, a move like there, it's likely because they DI'd out of the icicles in a way that made it so that they were just gonna die to the next thing that hit them anyway, you know? Um, just master, I mean, edge guarding is gonna be the way you get kills 99% of the time. Not 99% of the time, I won't say that. A lot of the time with Edelus. And so practicing converting in real matches versus people uh, side B hit confirms. It's very important. Uh, you can combo into up air, like I said, and forward air. You just have to you just have to follow your opponent off the stage. Apps is not really cooperative here, but you can find 
plenty of examples of it in almost any high level Edalus gameplay video. I mean, I'm really, I'd say I'm really, really good at edge guarding with Edalus. You can often find it in my Edalus games uh, if you were to look them up on YouTube or something. And so, that's going to be it. That's the end of Kill Confirms. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're here on the stream and you're watching it, then I have a YouTube channel, full stream, you can find me. Uh, I've been uploading pretty regularly there, like two times a week. So you can catch all the videos I upload there. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then there's a description of the stream down below. Wait, there's a link to the stream in the description down below. Uh, feel free to come on down to the stream and watch everything that I do live. Some of it I don't upload, so you'll be able to catch everything here. Uh, but that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys learn and get good with Edelis. He's a really fun character. He's one of my favorites. Uh, I still play him a lot to this day. And uh, he's really, really cool. So hope you find him that way as well. Thanks.